during the all Armenian history. All Armenians are proud that they are Armenians and this is the reason why we're surviving. Armenia was considered as one of the Silicon Valleys of the former Soviet Union. It's a huge culture of technology development. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, they were passing a very problematic period. We have a, a huge brain drain, it was a huge economic problem, so countries were in transition. That was the mood in this region, that they are abundant. No help, no support, no infrastructure, temporary houses and shelters line up for bread why would they stay here? And so they pack and they live for bigger cities, for bigger opportunities, and migrate to other countries. At the same time, the Soviet Union was a superpower in science. Ex-socialist economies are facing the added challenge that they have been under a central planning regime which really distorted incentives and didn't allow people to come up with individual ideas and so, in a sense, they depressed entrepreneurial innovation, individualistic innovation. The capacity not to invent a product for the state, but to take it out to the market and commercialize it. That will increase competitiveness and eventually help development. During the last 10 or 15 years, we were able not only to grow, but the country was showing double-digit figures in the growth. And this growth, just not only in the revenue side, it was all direct impact on the lifestyle. When the multinationals are coming, they are bringing also business culture, working mentality. So, from the brain drain, now we are going to the brain gain. The incubation process itself during the last five years became one of the successful models for Armenia. We have two examples, one public owned, which is an enterprise incubator foundation. We have also a private example, is Vyasver Technopark. These are only pilots. All concept and idea should be tailored and adopted to your situation. For us, already having experience in business incubation, we highly emphasize the importance of this kind of infrastructures for the economy. In case of Armenia, Vyasvir Technopark is the first technopark in, in Armenia established on a commercial basis. So what are the advantages of private incubator? We are very flexible with the companies. We don't follow the written rules or procedures. Even we have uh, companies which are starting just from the idea. We can work with the company for two, three months for free to try to see what, what they can do. Instead of requesting them to provide their business plan, not to show to the board, being a private incubator, we streamline the processes. So we have a freedom to customize our services to tenant and client companies. We are in a, in a very niche market, put it at a high margin, so I have no problem with increasing wages. Mm -hmm. Structured credit data management. We're a risk management company. We have the shortage of staff, of IT staff. I looked at China, I looked at India, and also looked at the former Soviet countries. And then I decided Armenia is the best choice. This is really strategy 101. What are the strengths of Armenia? Before the collapse of the Soviet Union, this was the think tank of the Soviet Union. So you have a lot of academics here that have a good idea about mathematics, good idea about risk, good idea about statistics and methods. This is our strength. We have to leverage our strength. And I like you know, this idea of, of, of this place being uh, something special. And after one year, we grew and grew, and so we decided to take the second floor. And why is for and they help us a lot. You need a connection here. You need some, some, some local here, some strategic incubation to start a business here. We are providing consultancy, accounting, legal, any kinds of service which is necessary for a small company to start operation. And currently Technopark is 95% occupied and more than 700 employees employed in different startups and established tenant companies. We have an electronic lab for different kinds of testing in electronics, in semiconductor, in laser. We are providing also access for our ten companies to foreign resources. If the company is so successful developing the product, but they need marketing services, they need channels to, to outside markets. This is where our parent company, PS3 International, is playing a role. This is also an incubator in Silicon Valley, which is linked to many companies. Our diaspora, they are our business fairs. These guys are ready to invest. 
they don't have time, they have their own businesses, therefore we have to do our homework. Incubated to me is well-organized channeling of ideas into business concepts that can meet financing. Sometimes it's uh, sufficient for a company to be successful in the local market, but we hope that the companies will be successful also in the foreign markets. We wanted the InfoDev project to be concentrated on implementation of pilot projects involving different companies and together develop a product which is highly competitive and can be commercialized later on into the foreign markets. We are very technical first project we initiated was manufacturing of solar station for pumping underground water. In a desert, you can just have a, like a garden. Alone, it was not possible. So we involved uh, different companies in the Technoval. We involved companies which had experience in designing, modeling, and then manufacturing, prototyping different kinds of converters. We wanted the panel tracking the sun, this movement mechanism. The tracking system was expertise of another company. It became a complex product, which was a contribution of several tenant companies we had inside the techno park. Biosphere and the private type of incubators might become more advanced because they may attract a higher capital. But I think initially the government has a role to play. Later on, private investment, including venture capital, could take over and we should not compete with them. One of the main goals of the government of Armenia is to create an environment where Armenian companies will be competitive, and not only locally, but also globally. So government decided to create EIF. 80% of Armenian IT companies during the last five years had the chance to use incubator services. First, it's a startups which created with EIF assistance we have certain share and we have financial participation in these businesses. Incubator is good platform for doing public relations. Incubator organizes contacts, conferences where we can be introduced much more easy than if we try to do it by ourselves. Until now, we have success with them in relations with international airport management, border management information system. This is the map of the airport. So here we can see the arrivals and departures. Which arrivals are and departure, planned. planning time and actual time. Government intervention or public intervention here giving an opportunity to go for more risky projects, identifying new potential in your country and opening a new window. And the second type of the tenants are big multinational companies who are trying to facilitate their protest being in Armenia, to understand the environment, to speak with government, to negotiate with donors and to be a viable member of our community. Now, this region has many advantages that other regions don't have. Quality of research, quality of skills, quality of labor is absolutely essential if we want to foster innovation. The former Soviet republics has been great for national instruments. We want to be closer to the customers. There are an enormous amount of conferences, international conferences, staged here in Armenia. There's a very well-connected, pretty vibrant community of high-tech and IT 